The system in which presidents are voted into the White House is coming under fire. Time Warner Cable News reporter Tara Grimes explains why some want to see the Electoral College abolished and a national vote system put into place. On Tuesday, Donald Trump won 279 electoral votes, the more than half needed to become president-elect. At last report, Hillary Clinton won the popular vote by more than 200,000. This is the fifth year in our nation's history where a president-elect won the electoral votes, but not the popular votes. It was really clear in this election that no matter who won, there was going to be at least 50% of the population who was livid and at least 50% of the population who was ecstatic. But now some are questioning the system of the Electoral College. Burns says our founding fathers put it into place as a way to make sure people didn't vote in someone who wasn't eligible or qualified in a meaningful way. So for example, if the people actually decided to elect someone who wasn't born in the United States, then the Electoral College could say, well, we have a problem here because that person isn't actually eligible. I think that's a good system and it helps kind of clarify the election. It helps break it down considering there's so many votes and so many people in America. But I do have to agree with them that when looking at the numbers, if one side votes more, that should probably be the final decider. RIT third year student Ashley Kozak also wants to see popular vote take over because she feels it would represent the people's choice better. But she admits it wouldn't be easy. Only a constitutional amendment could abolish the Electoral College. I think that there will be a lot of blowback if it does happen. Like, it's not something that's just going to be changing overnight. It's going to be something that, like, a lot of people have to be involved in. Burns says while the Electoral College has its issues, changing it to a popular vote system could come with its own set of problems especially with representing rural areas. She says another possibility that could be considered is awarding electoral votes proportionally to the popular vote instead of having each state a winner takes all. Because it's winner take all in a lot of the states, except for Maine and Nebraska, then it really means that once you win a state, you get a huge chunk of electoral college votes. So if you made it proportional, that would even things out a little bit more. Well, not likely, Burns says electors could still change their vote on December 19th when they vote for president. She says this has only happened eight times in the last 115 years. In Henrietta, Tara Grimes, Time Warner Cable News.